Good morning. It is about 6.30 a.m. Oop, there's some poop. Watch out for that. And we're starting our day. We're going up the big boy, Volcan Agua. And uh, I had a bit of a rough night. You see, I threw my back out the day we traveled here. And I've never really done that before, but oh my god, it's painful. Like, when I'm moving, when I'm walking, I feel okay. But like bending down to like wash my face at the sink or something is excruciating. And last night, my body was not happy. So at about 9 p.m., I went out to a pharmacy and bought some muscle relaxers, something I've never done before. And I feel a little bit better. But boy, when your back is not happy, your whole body is not happy. And uh, we're gonna see how this goes today. We gotta get up and over. Volcan Agua. Whew, there it is. David just said that from here to the top of the volcano is about a 5,000 foot change. And um, coming down is about 6,000 feet. Going up for my body seems to be okay. Going down might be a challenge. We'll see. My body's been through pain before. This is just a different kind of pain cave. Here we go. Where are they at? Uh, oh, let me go on that. <laughs> Another reason why we're starting this early in the morning is to get up and over fairly early. There's been a lot of reports of robberies up here. So if we can get out of here quick, everybody's safer. And I actually, unfortunately, know this firsthand. Not on this volcano, but back in 2002, my buddy Jeff and I got robbed on a volcano near the lake, San Pedro. And it was very scary. We're talking machetes, they stole all of our camera gear. They spooked us pretty good. So, we're trying to avoid that. Woo, look at that. High five. How many times have you done this, David? Uh, not so many. No? Maybe like, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like fifteen. Fifteen. <laughs> That's a lot of times. Fifteen's so pretty good. We'll call you an expert on this mountain. I'm not moving very fast. I think two days of intense back pain has just kind of shot my whole spirit. My body is not used to being weak. My mind is not used to a body that's weak. It's hard. It's hard when you're usually very, very physically fit and you can do anything. And then you do something that's it's not that hard. I'm just walking. And it's taking everything I can muster. This is one of those little engine that could moments where you just chant. I think I can, I think I can. One foot in front of the other. Ah, oh, this is hard. hard to stay positive when you're in so much pain and you have eight more days of this. <laughs> That's the hard part. But I have to focus on right here, right now. Looking ahead doesn't do me any good other than worry me. 
So, that's what I'm focused on right now. One step at a time. Make it through today, see what happens tomorrow. How's everybody else doing? Great. 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 Loving the climbing. Okay. Three. Of the way. <laughs> Three thousand out. Oh, Five thousand feet. <laughs> oh yeah. A little bit of music here. These guys are selling some potato chips and super cola. Ladies are dancing. Hey, it's easy, claro. uh, we're usually the ones taking photos, but this guy really wants to take photos of the ladies because they're pretty. Gracias por todo, amigos. Gracias por la música. These guys just gave us some much needed energy. But more than just the junk food they sold us, they gave us some smiles and music. It was great. Oh, I can't tell you what a boost that was. Just a little bit of human interaction gets you, gets you out of your head. I, I at least have a problem when I can get down. I just put my head down and just start like, argh, start feeling sorry for myself. And I start focusing on the pain. And that's no good. Leads you down the wrong path. But those guys sitting there at the top of the hill brought us a lot of joy. Okay. I think I can. I think I can. Another great thing about seeing those guys selling the food right there is that it makes, makes me feel safer. You know what I'm saying? I was talking to David earlier and he says they usually don't even guide people up this mountain because of the safety issues. They only do it with <laughs> security people with them, which makes me wonder why we don't have security, but I think that's why we started so early so we could get up and over and out of here. kind of crazy. These little crystals right here are ice. That means it was freezing up here last night. David said that's kind of unusual, but it sure is beautiful seeing all these little crystals. The real name of Agua Volcano is Unapu. That means water spring. There used to be a lagoon on top of the volcano. Uh, but after a lot of rain, in the year of the 1541, uh, the 11, September the 11th, <laughs> yeah, uh, and the crater like overflowed and the water came all the way in here. So this volcano has never erupted? Never erupted. Not, not on our records. I mean, we have records after the Spanish came. much made it to the top there's an old probably where the lake was down there and lots of TV towers feels good to get the top of a mountain First time I've seen active volcanoes. Really cool. Allie's breaking out the 180 cam. It's our little guy. Because this view right here is pretty awesome. And look, Fuego just did some puffing. <gasps> now we go down, and uh, David says the down is very technical. Right? It'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> time to get muddy. steep. <laughs> you really need to 
Grab onto trees so you don't fall. The benefit of going down and sliding down something so steep means that we're getting down the volcano faster. No switchbacks. A little bit of a tight squeeze in here. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. I'll try to come after you. <laughs> that tree right here. This handle just saved my life. This is crazy. We're going down you this know what? mountain. I'm throw it on the gimbal and there's a piece of airplane here. An airplane crashed here. Oh. This is a gnarly place to crash. Look at this. <laughs> I can't see my feet. David is stuck on the no. other side of the dirt river. <laughs> is it good if I stand here so I can like you can grab onto me? Nice. Yeah. That was <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Using my hands as stabilizers. And uh, a little bit dirty, but yeah, this is what we're walking through now. It's pretty much mud, dirt, just sliding, just sliding on a lovely Saturday. Oh yeah, look at those socks. Oh yeah, a little bit of dirt in there. It's good, it keeps my feet from smelling bad. D dirt absorbs all the stank. Yeah, that's the first view we've had of the volcano in a long time. We're getting lower. I think about a third of the way down. It's taken us three hours. Ready? I was born for this. <laughs> might think this is out of place. Why is there yellow precaution tape? Well, there's actually an ultra marathon that goes on this course. I think it's like 100 kilometers up and over this volcano and then a Catenango. It's long. I can't imagine racing this route. Beautiful. We are in the clouds now. It's gone from sunny to cloudy, and we're in it. You can feel the moisture in the air. And a lot of these trees you can see have little air plants on them. There's so many nutrients in the air, the plants can just stick to the side of a tree and survive. So what's this funky camera doing, Allie? Um, this is a VR 180 camera and it records 3D video. So it's got two eyes, two lenses. So it's actually recording two videos that are combined into one and you get a 3D image. It feels like you are immersed in the environment. So when you watch this film, you will be in the cloud forest with us. Meh. Ryan, have we found the perfect shot yet? No, we have not found the perfect shot. And what you don't know is we've been walking for three hours. <laughs> I just started filming myself. Perhaps I'll say something interesting. <laughs> we've already summited two volcanoes. Oh, we didn't summit the first one. We've already climbed two volcanoes. And yeah, explored a few cities. Ah. Eh explored a few towns. I'm really not nailing my facts here, guys. Terrible YouTuber. <laughs> For the record, this is why Ryan has a selfie stick. <laughs> Looking forward to the rest of this adventure. It's off to an auspicious start. This is pretty, guys. This might be the shot.
We are running for the first time today and it feels really good. I'm very thankful that my back is feeling better. I couldn't even bend over and brush my teeth this morning without screaming in pain. Buenas tardes. Hola. Ali, check it out. They organized a parade for us as we come into this town. I think there really is some sort of a parade going on. Everybody's lining the streets here. I don't think it's for us, but it is. It's a nice welcome. In Boulder, we get really excited about our Saturday farmer's market, but it has nothing on this market. This happens every day, and their vegetables look pretty darn good. I love Latin America so much. I love the sights and the sounds and the smells and the people and the chaos. All of that put together makes me a very happy traveler. And the people are always so genuine and friendly. And Oh, we got a parade. Here's the parade. It's taking us a long time to get to our hotel because we keep stopping and eating food. Mm, that's what happens when you burn a lot of calories, you eat a lot of food. And the street food in Latin America is the best. How is it, Ali? That's quite the smile. It is so refreshing. This is exactly what you want after a day of climbing volcanoes. Hola. Very cute dogs here at this hotel. This is my kind of hotel. There's families and dogs and uh, really loud music. Now it's time for the dance party. Yeah, we can have a dance party in our room because this town is partying. Look at that. That is coming out of my socks. Oh man, look at that. I'm a dirty boy. I'm pig pen today. Salud amigos. I'll salute with some chocolate. <laughs> Ooh.